Hello everybody, this is Hobby the Gamer here with my third season of my Doncaster Rowers career mode, Road to Glory. As you can see here, we have one final game remaining versus Blackpool. And if I go over to the standings, you can see that we are currently sitting in second on 82 points and Blackpool has 81 points. And with this final match being how important it is, I figured that I would play this game live and because really if we lose this game Blackpool will jump up to second we will move down to third and we would have to play in the playoffs which is not what I want to do so realistically I'm looking to come out of here with at least a draw because with the draw we still stay in second and we gain automatic promotion up to the championship however if we do win we move up to 85 points and most likely lose out on goal difference unless we score like four or more goals or something like that. I don't think we'll score more than two goals against Blackpool. They're a pretty good team and they're not one to be taken lightly. So that's why I figured I would play this game live for you guys. So with that being said, before we move into the final game of the season, let's move on to the league highlights. All right, moving into the first game of these highlights against Blackpool. We will get the first goal, Sammy Braybrook, nice header into the back of the net. We take the lead, and we will get another one thanks to Cole Stockton running through on goal. His shot gets past the keeper, and we take a 2-0 lead over Blackpool, but they would get back into the game. Dale running down the right-hand side there, playing it through back to Dale. Dale crosses it in. The striker, their number nine, finds the back of the net. They play it short from the corner kick, and I was just having trouble defending corner corner kicks all year. And they would get the equalizer in the 53rd minute. Then later on in the game, they would go on to get the winner. Just I felt it was kind of jammy, and they take all three points home. Next up, we have Bolton, who would get the first goal of this match they just cut us apart they cut they pulled it back and they strike first and take a one nil lead over us they would add on a second as well Sadler playing going playing it over to Tepsoba fantastic shot from him can't even lie and they take a two nil lead but we will get things going again Sang Bing Jong plays it I, I don't know if that was a shot or a cross but it finds Joseph Awolo and he puts it into the back of the net however our comeback was marked short as Bolton would get a third and final goal of the match and they would head home with all three points. Next up against Mansfield, Cole Stockton playing and saying Bing Jong. We get the first goal of the match and Mansfield would get a goal back to salvage a draw. Just poor defending from the corner kick. They just pass it around and they salvage a point. Next up against Lincoln. Fantastic cross in from Aaron Presley to George Miller. Acrobatic finish, and we take home all three points. Next up against Sheffield Wednesday, Anaitz Arabia stepping up for the free kick. Perfectly placed off of the post into the back of the net. We take a 1-0 lead. Next up from this corner kick, Ben Close takes it. Fantastic, beautiful shot. As soon as it left his foot, you knew it was going into the back of the net, and we get the win versus Sheffield Wednesday. Bolt, Bolton, once again, they strike first in this match. Tetsoba, beautiful finish, but George Miller would get things going with Cole Stockton, playing it over to him. His header finds the back of the net, and we salvage a draw versus Bolton. Next up, we have Fleetwood. They would strike first, just poor defending from us once again. Nothing new this year but they would also add on a second right before half, just jammy goal, bouncing all over the place. They capitalize, and they take a 2-0 lead going into half, but Sang Bing Jong plays it over to Cole Stockton, finds Kaidi Gordon. His finish ends up in the back of the net, and he gets a goal back for us. We would go on to get the equalizer, Sang Bing Jong, finding the passion from Cole Stockton, fantastic awesome shot from him and he salvages a point corner in from Port Vale is just 
Another example, poor defending. Their header ends up in the back of the net. Nothing I can do about it. Nothing the keeper can do about it. But Sammy Braybook would get a goal back with his fantastically placed free kick. Finds the back of the net, and we get the equalizer. Cole Stockton plays it over to James McAtee. His shot is deflected into the back of the net. We would go on to get the winner against Port Vale thanks to Cole Stockton's late strike, and he gives us all three points. Moving on, we have an FA Cup tie versus Chelsea. We would get things going. We would get the first strike of the match thanks to Sang Bing Jong. His strike finds the back of the net. But Chelsea would get things going late on in the game. Reese James running down the right-hand side. He crosses it into the box to Dick Hedelare. His header equalizes things for them. Then very, very late into extra time. They just played around. Super jammy goal. Patrick Schlick gets them the win and they move on. Alright, this next match here is against Wickham in the Papa John's Trophy semifinals. And Wickham would get things started off here. They started off with the ball. They really couldn't do anything much with it. A few minutes later, they have a chance on goal, but Jonathan Mitchell collects it, rolls it out, and we get the play out. Now, nothing ultimately came from that, though. Nice interception there for Sammy Braybook. Sang Bing Jong plays in Cole Stockton, who buries that ball into the back of the net. And we would take a one goal lead over Wickham in the semifinals. We have a free kick here in a pretty good spot. Sammy Braybrook steps up and his shot eventually just curls wide. And I thought that the keeper got a touch to it, but apparently not. This next shot, fantastic shot from Sang Bing Jong. I don't know how the keeper saved that, but we get ourselves a corner kick. Kaidi Gordon takes it short. And tries to get it across in acrobatics from Cole Stockton. Just couldn't really get anything on it. Good stop from the keeper, and we get another corner kick. Kaidi Gordon takes this one again. However, it gets stolen, but Sammy Braybrook picks it up and crosses in to find nobody. Wickham would get another chance on goal. They cross it in. Jonathan Mitchell collects it. He sends it out and we have a chance to break. Wolu plays it over to Jack Diamond. Jack Diamond plays it to Cole Stockton. Cole Stockton tries to get Sang Bing Jong through. The clearance is only as far as Jack Diamond. Onyango plays it to Mc McAtee. Bray booked over to Cole Stockton. Cole Stockton over to Gordon, and his cross in can't find James McAtee, but Cole Stockton knocks it down. Jack Diamond Tries to cross it in, and we get a free kick again in a pretty good spot. This time, Sammy Braybrook adjusts a little bit more, waiting for the right moment. And his shot is way too not powerful enough, and keeper is always going to get to that. 74th minute now, Wickham get the ball back, and they have a good chance on goal here. Good strike. Jonathan Mitchell is equal to it, though. He plays it out over to Jack Diamond. We can get a corner kick now, and we initially clear it, but Charlie Webster gets that ball stolen. Miller gets a shot on goal. Good save from Jonathan Mitchell. Gives up the corner kick, though. But from this corner kick, we just know, I don't know how that goes into the back of the net, and Wickham would get the equalizer. We have a very... We have a chance to win the game, but George Miller can't find Cole Stockton. So George Miller plays it back to Cole Stockton, and Ross Kalkachan's shot is a good shot. Forces a save out of the keeper, but that would be the end of regular time, which means we go to penalties. Jonathan Mitchell gets sent the wrong way on the first one by Wickham. George Miller steps up, and he just has a, his penalty save. Jonathan Mitchell dives the right way, saves the next shot. Ross Kalkachan steps up, and he buries this penalty. Great shot. Jonathan Mitchell dives the right way. Good stop from him. Kaidi Gordon steps up for us, and he sends that shot into the back of the net, even though the keeper died the right way. Miller steps up and sinks his penalty 
sends Jonathan Mitchell the wrong way, but Cole Stockton would be up, and he buries his penalty as well. We concede here. Now it's tied 3-3, but Jack Vale would step up, and he would absolutely slam his penalty home and send us to the Papa John's Trophy Final. And as you can see, we are in the Papa John's Final versus Blackpool, thanks to our penalty shootout win over Wickham in the semifinals. I figured I would play this game live since it is a final. So, And with that, let's just jump right into it. The formation I will be using is a 3-4-1-2. I don't know why FIFA says it's a 3-1-1-1-4, but clearly it looks like it's a 3-4-1-2 to me. But I'll run through the starting 11. Cole Stockton partnered up with Sang Bing Young up top as a striker. James McAtee, center attacking midfield. Sammy Braybook, center midfielder. Tyler Onyango, center defensive mid. Jack Diamond, left winger. Kaidi Gordon, right winger. Tom Anderson, center back. Joseph Owolu, other center back. And Roshan Williams, the other center back, with Jonathan, Jonathan Mitchell in goal. Substitutes have gone with Harvey Vale, George Miller, Charlie Webster, Ross Kalkachan, and Ben Close. Blackpool is a very decent team. We can definitely come out on top if we play like how well we can play. I know we definitely have the quality to beat Blackpool. It's just a matter of who wants it more. Do we want it more or does Blackpool want it more? That's really all it comes down to. And like I mentioned before, we beat Wickham in the semifinals on penalties and in the quarterfinals we beat Plymouth Argyle on penalties as well. So really I want to get this game done in full time. I don't want things to go to penalties again. Uh, I do not, I'm not used to the penalty system on FIFA 23 and really I, I was surprised that we beat Wickham on penalties because I was totally not used to how penalties were taken. But we persevered though and we got the job done and Blackpool starting 11 should be shown up on screen here in just a moment uh, I guess I missed it uh, Doncaster Rover starting 11 I already went through this before but can't hurt to do it again Williams Anderson Owolu back three Wanyango Braybrook McAtee Diamond and Gordon the midfield and Stockton Sang Bing Jong the two strikers up top you gotta be joking good stop from Jonathan Mitchell Tom Anderson tries to play out from the back gets ricocheted off the defender there and Jonathan Mitchell comes rushing out of his goal bails us out Blackpool do get a corner kick though looks like they're playing it long gotta get it clear Cole Stock should be winning that even finds Sang Bing Jong. Blackpool on the counterattack now. Good stop from Jonathan Mitchell again. We concede another corner. Looks like they're playing it short this time. Kaidi Gordon out there to defend. Get it clear. Get it clear. We win that. Let's go. Shot comes in. Jonathan Mitchell is equal to it though. Distributes. Tammy Braybrook just stupidly tries to get it to Stockton. Never gonna find him there. I don't know what he's doing trying to play it that long good interception And then we give it right back. We got to slow things down already That's just going to half going to half zero zero versus Blackpool Gordon comes out to grab it. He run. He's running down same break book open Let's go Sang Jing Sang Bing Jong Scores the first goal of the Papa John's Trophy Final versus Blackpool. Great passage of play there. I believe that was Sammy Braybrook who passed it into him. Yep. Good first touch and he just slams that soccer home. Top ends. Let's go. That's what we needed. Come out of this. Come out in the second half strong. And we score first versus Blackpool. Now we just have to hold off there. We just have to hold off the Blackpool attack and we should be golden. Sang Bing Jong threw a goal on goal again. 
And he gets his brace. Let's go. Cole Stockton feeding him through. We go 2-0 up against Blackpool in the Papa John's Trophy Final. That's what we like to see. Cole Stockton doing what he does. Target man striker feeding in Sang Bing Jong. And we get a second goal. A ring on Charlie Webbs for James McAtee. He hasn't really done anything for us today. Not that I've noticed, so... Making two other substitutions, Harvey Vale coming on for Jack Diamond, Ross Calicachan coming on for Tyler Onyango. Saying I get his hat trick. Oh, keeper came out just quick and quicker than him. Saying Bing Jong couldn't get his hat trick. He's got a brace though, and that's fairly impressive. So we, all I want to ask out of him. That should be the game. That should be the game. Should be the game. That's the game. We beat Blackpool two to zero, thanks to a Sang Bing Jong brace. I almost said hat trick. Almost should have been a hat trick, but we he secures a brace. We get the win over Blackpool in the Papa John's Trophy final. That's lovely. I love it. We made it to the final, I believe, it was last year or two years ago. We, this trophy, this trophy, this trophy, what am I talking about? This trophy has eluded us for some time now, but finally we have the quality to beat Blackpool, and that's, I'm really happy for the, this is great, this is a great Kickstarter, really. We, I believe we're knocked out of all the other cup finals, so this is really the only thing that we are left in, but it's still, a trophy is, tro a trophy is a trophy, that's, that's all it is. Papa John's Trophy, and Tom Anderson, our captain, is going to lift up the trophy. As you can see, this is going to be the final game of the season, and look who's up against Blackpool. Taking a look at the standings here, we currently sit in second on 82 points. Blackpool sit in third with 81 points. That means that if we come out of here with a win or a draw, we get automatic promotion. If we come out with a win, that would put us on 85 points, but I think we lose out on goal difference because Huddersfield have a bigger goal difference. So we get second anyways if we win or draw but if we lose that means Blackpool jump up above us they take second and we get put into the playoffs which is not what I want to do so with that I figure I'll play with the stakes on with how big of a game this is I figured I would just play this live give you guys a nice little bonus so alright going through the starting lineup here we have Cole Stockton and Sang Bing Jong the two strikers up top James McAtee, center attacking midfielder, Sammy Braybook, center mid, Tyler Onyango, center defensive mid, Jack Diamond, and Kaidi Gordon, the two wingers on the outside. Tom Anderson, Joseph Awolu, Roshan Williams make up the back three, and Jonathan Mitchell in goal. Jack Vale, I believe I accidentally called him Harvey Vale in uh, Papa John's final. Uh, <laughs> apologies for that, his name is Jack Vale. Paul Smith, Nathan Mendez Lang, Charlie Webster, Ben Close, Ross Kalkachan, and Shane Barkley, our Youth Academy product. That's the substitutes I'm going with. So, with that being said, let's get right into the game. We are playing away from home, which might prove to be difficult, but I still think that we have the quality to come home with at least a draw. If we don't get a draw, I would be very disappointed with ourselves. Obviously, we're going for the win here, but sometimes you just have to be realistic about these things. If we can beat them in the Papa John's Trophy Final, then I think we can beat them here in the league. But that being said, I don't want to underestimate them. They were still they are still a good opponent. Like I mentioned in the final, I believe they're relegated from the championship, so they still have championship quality and. The, the league proves that because they're they're finished they're in third currently so Blackpool starting eleven back line Garbutt, Tyskerov, James Tharm, 
midfield Melendez, Wright, Stewart, wingers Hamilton, Dale, and then lone striker up top, Yates. I can't say too much. I, I I honestly don't remember if it was unchanged or not from the Papa John's semi uh, final. But here's our starting eleven. I already ran through this, so but it doesn't hurt to go through it again, I guess. Jonathan Mitchell in gold, in goal. Williams, Anderson, Owolu, the back three. Oyango, Braybrook, McAtee, the midfield. Diamond and Gordon, the wingers. Stockton and Sang Bing Jong, two strikers up top. Cole Stocks is running through on goal. Needs. Sang Bing Jong. Oh my lord. Acrobatics from Sang Bing Jong. That would have been a fantastic goal. Oh my lord. Just inches away. Jong plays it over to. Colts. Oh my gosh. Here's the post. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, you've got to be joking. That happened in the Papa John's final as well. Cole Stockton, I think it was Cole Stockton. So one of the strikers hit the post. Oh my gosh, that's what we needed now. Right before half, he's offside though. Right before half, goal, goal up. It's just what we needed. Unlucky, very unlucky. Jack Diamond though. McAtee with the shot. Ooh, I thought that was going in. Just wide. Can't curl it into the tough corner. Hamilton on the ball for Blackpool. Crosses it in. Good clearance from Tom Anderson. Blackpool have a corner. You gotta get this clear. I've I've had trouble defending corners this year, I'm not even gonna lie. Brabo, get on that. Get on that. He does. McAtee on the ball. Oh, he's got acres of spin. Oh, there's a defender there. I was wondering why I should have played it. The Cole Stockton. Oh, could have got his head on it. Oh, we got a. Is it for us? It is. Perfect. Ah, it's too powerful. Hits the, hits the wall anyways. Get it up there. Sang Bing Jong, good win. He's on. McAtee's on, I think. Goal. Let's go. James McAtee. Let's go. Great ball in from Cole Stockton. McAtee just picks out his spot and slots that sucker home. Let's go. Power shot. It's like probably the one time it's worked this season for me. Good finish though. We go up 1-0 versus Blackpool. As things stand, we finish second now on 85 points. But <clears throat> I want to get another one. I don't want I don't like sitting at just a one goal lead. I like a two goal lead if anything. Made five substitutions. Basically replaced the entire midfield. Charlie Webster, Paul Smith, Ross Kalkachan, Nathan Mendes Lang, and who came on for, uh, oh, Ben Close. Ben Close came on for Sammy Braybrook. Just want to see the things out here. Nothing too crazy. If we can get another goal, that'd be lovely. And with that being said, Paul Smith, offsides. <laughs> good ball in, though. Good, good movement off the ball from Paul Smith. Good defense from Wolu, Charlie Webster. Sang Bing Jong is through on goal. He's definitely got to finish this. And he does. Sang Bing Jong does what he does. Scores goals, 83rd minute. We go up 2 0 versus Blackpool. Fantastic bit of play from us. Lovely. That's what we want to see. Let's go. Very clinical finisher. I don't know who that was. I think that was probably Ben Close. Great finish from St. Bing Jong. Blackpool on attack here. Looking dangerous. Are you joking? You have got to be joking me. What is that? 
Why would Jonathan Mitchell not come off club? <laughs> what is the black? <laughs> what is Blackpool doing? <laughs> You're just running in the goal. That's stupid. Why? I don't even know what Tom is. Tom Anderson, a sleeper agent for Blackpool. What is this? Am I am I undercovering a conspiracy right now? Tom Anderson got some money on Blackpool. What was that? All right, no no messing around. Just get things. Let's just get things over. Get out. That should be the game. That was very suspect. Tom Anderson. He's on my watch list now. I don't know what he's trying to do there, but still though, that's that's what I'm saying. That's why we need a two goal lead. If we only kept that one goal, it would have been level one to one, and we would have finished with 82 points instead of 85 points that we do now so though great performance besides that very questionable last bit of whatever that was so and as you can see oh if we didn't give up that goal we would have had 31 goal differential i think i think that's how it works unless i'm just being stupid but we finished second, 85 points. Hunter Field, 85 points, takes a league title. We are both getting promoted up to the championship, which is lovely. Blackpool, MK Dons, Wickham, and Plymouth Argyle going to the playoffs. And let's see who's getting relegated. Swindon Town, Oxford United, Port Vale, and Charlton are getting relegated back to League 2. Uh, while I'm here, I might as well go through the Cups, FA Cup Final. You can see Newcastle beat West Ham 3-0. Where do we finish? Round 5, it's not too bad. We lost to Chelsea. That was very... We should have won that game, basically. That's what I'm trying to say. But we didn't, lose. we didn't win, so whatever. Chelsea, much higher quality, so I'm not too upset about that. In the Carabao Cup, Manchester City beat... Spurs 3-2. to two. Where do we finish? Round 4. Lost to Brentford 3-2. to two. What can you do about that? Really nothing you can do about that. As you know, we beat Blackpool in the Papa John's Trophy 2-0. And really that's about it for the league and the cups. Go through stats. See if we got anybody finishing in the top 15. Doesn't look like it. Stockton's in 19th with 12 assists, Stockton with 7, clean sheets, Mitchell with 13, it's pretty good, all things considered. And run through the stats for us. Top appearances, Jonathan Mitchell, 57. Coming in second, Charlie Webster with 44, and third, Joseph Owolu with 43. Top goal scorer on the season, Cole Stockton with 17, Sang Bing Jong with 13, and James McAtee Deloney from Manchester City with 10. Top assists go to Cole Stockton with 9, Sammy Raybuck in second with 6, and James McAtee in third with 5. Jonathan Mitchell takes the top clean sheet with 18, Roshan Williams not far behind him, tied with Sammy Braybrook each half 16 all in all that was a pretty good season in my opinion really wasn't too bad I can run through the youth academy here we got a pretty full we got a few players I could probably promote but I actually can't because I have a full squad so 50 is the max Joel Rose 63 overall I'll probably look to promote him next year Stephen Mord Looking to probably promote him next year once he gets a little higher. It's not too bad though. Yeah, we got some promising young players. Um, might as well go through who's leaving us in the, at the end of the season. Tom Anderson. Is he retiring or what? No, I'm just letting. Yeah, I'm just letting his contract run out. Realistically, I think that that's probably something. Actually. I don't know, he is a captain. I'll just I'll just renew his contract. One year. Hopefully he can retire with us. James Furlong, probably not gonna uh, not going to buy him. He was just somebody I bought brought in to 
for backup. Jordan Hugo, I know he is retiring. Perry Kitchen is also retiring. James McAtee, Kylie Gordon, Sang Bing Jong, and Brooke Norton Cuffey are all being sent back to the parent clubs. I might try to bring in Sang Bing Jong in on a permanent deal. I don't have a buy clause on, on him, unfortunately, so his market value is $9 million with a 109% increase, so probably going to have to pay, pay a pretty penny for that. Kyde Gordon, I do have a buy, settle buy option for that at $3 million, way below his market value, so that might be the move. James McAtee, I also have a settle buy option, $4 million, a little under his market value, so... Brooke Norton Coffee, three million. We got some. I might keep McAtee here. I think he also sent me a message on chats or whatever. To he wants to make his loan deal permanent, so I might do that. And he's Arbia. He's not retiring. I'm just letting his contract run out. Sixty-two overall, minus six. I really don't see him getting too much first-team action next season so letting him walk to the free agents same with john taylor 61 minus 5 32 years of age he's not retiring he's just in let go unfortunately i i didn't really use him at all this season i just had better players to use and that's the truth of it so jack vale also getting returned back to his home club i'm I wasn't really too impressed with him to be honest, so probably won't keep him around for next season. But like I mentioned before, I'll probably look to probably settle James McAtee's buyout clause. And yeah, overall, take a look at the board objectives. They're very happy with us. We fought for promotion. Obviously, we got second automatic. It's pretty good. Signed two players younger than 20 years old, completed that. Really all you gotta do is just sign two players from your youth academy to the senior squad and reach around to 16 in the FA Cup. We did that and that's where we lost to Chelsea, so it is what it is. Yeah, overall, this season I thought was fairly good for us, so not too, not too many complaints about what happened here. So I'm really excited for next season in the championship. Hopefully we can stay above the relegation zone and fight for a mid-table spot and just keep improving and eventually get ourselves into the Premier League. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Thank you for tuning in today on this episode of my Doncaster Rovers career mode, Road to Glory. Hopefully you guys have some suggestions. If you guys have any improvements or comments or concerns or anything, so leave it down in the comments below. I'll take a look at them. Love hearing you guys' feedback. So thank you for that and have a lovely day.